ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಬಹಳ ಮಹತ್ವ ಇದೆ ಈ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ರೋಡ್ ಆ ಗಟ್ಟರ ಕುಡಿ ನೀರ್ದಲ್ಲ ಶಿವಾಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜರು ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ರು ಸಂಭಾಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜರು ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ರು ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಗುಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಮಾಡುವಂತವ್ರು ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ರ ನೀವು ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸರ್ so imran this is a very deliberate attempt to communalize and to polarize people now where and where was he addressing this gathering and are we saying here that there is in some way in in this party an agenda to actually divide people why would an mla stand in a podium and say something like this is he following an agenda so well, absolutely this speech was made 3 days ago by sanjay patel who is a belgavi rural mla in sulli bagal this so village name where he made the statement uh, speech and where, what we we know that we uh, the polarization is what the last step now from the party here in karnataka they use they used to the corruption poll prank they used the development poll prank now that we are, as everybody assumes that run up to the polls bjp will use the big polarization issue to to garner votes for the elections here in karnataka now the following up that sanjay patel is the one who gave the speech he said very clearly that this election is not about uh, civic issues you know, people's issues it can uh, and also the water since the, many of the farmers are fighting over the madai water there in belagavi rural but mm. these are not mm. the important issues for the for sanjay patel or for it came for the bjp party but maybe but has any action been taken water. against him by the party leadership imran the party leaders have tried to uh, try to not address this issue in fact we hmm. tried to get a response from the bjp leaders about it they said that this is sanjay patel's individual opinion but when hmm. asked about what is the action uh, they are taking hmm. against sanjay patel have they told him to correct his measure or change his uh, 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 right. political correctness that's they the problem that you give tickets to people with criminal backgrounds uh, to to people with uh, who have committed crimes against women you do not dismiss people who spread enmity among communities and that perhaps is the issue that must be questioned many thanks for joining us imran